Okay, in this video we're going to see how we disconnect a halogen from a wire transformer, remove the wire transformer and install a lead driver and a lead bulb. Uh, the transformer is normally above the ceiling and it's connected via the, ca the cable to the bulb. Uh, the tools you need is a pair of snips, a star head screwdriver and a flat head screwdriver. The first thing we need to do is uh, remove the bulb from the ceiling. Be careful with the bulb because it can be very hot. Uh, it's normally best to turn it off for a while and, and, and then remove it. The first thing you have to do is go to the fuse box and find the, the appropriate e uh, RCV and turn it off. Once again be careful with the bulb as halogen bulbs are extremely hot. Letting it cool, disconnect the bulb. And here you have the transformer. On this side you have the live wires and on this side you have the cable that connects to the bulb. Let's disconnect the cable from the bulb that goes to the bulb. There you have it. And then let's loosen away with the wires for the, the live and the neutral. Let's just double check and, and to make sure that they're dead. Uh, if you have a multimeter. It is always good to double check because you never know what way somebody might have added something on and taken a cable from somewhere and you might have a, a backfield on the neutral or something. As you can see it's dead so we're going to continue on to disconnect the two cables. I'm going to cut these old terminations off and re-terminate. It's always good to, re to do this because with pressure, the pressure of screws and connections, sometimes the cables get a wee bit worn. I like to double back my cables, it makes for a better connection and it fills the connector block better. Ready. Let's open up the lead driver. Okay, you have two sides. The first side you have the picture of the bulb, this is where you connect the cable that goes directly to the bulb. And on the other side, there you go, the cable has to side for the bulb, and there's the live and the neutral. What you have to collect the live is the brown, and the neutral is the blue. Okay, let's connect the live and neutral. The connection should be just long enough to go in to fit properly but not too long that copper protrudes from the connector block. I'm just cutting mine back because they were a little long. I'm doubling back the cables again so it fills the connector block better. As you can see, no copper is, is protruding and tighten your connections. I'm just wiggling the cables to make sure there's a good tight connection that they're not going to leave. They're not going to fall out of the connector block. Now it's time to connect the part, the, the lead that goes to the bulb. Twisted the cables and connecting the same. This lead driver is a 10 watt lead driver, so you can actually connect two 5 watt bulbs or a 6 watt or anything, but you can connect. The total wattage cannot be more than 10 watts. That's connected. Wiggling again, the wiggle test just to make sure the cables aren't loose. And now let's put the cover back on. This part again will be up at the ceiling and it is always good to make sure that the cables are well away from the light. This is our lead bulb. This particular lead bulb is a 3 watt lead bulb. It 
it's 3 by 1 watt but the LED's inside. Let's turn back on the power. As you can see, the bulb is lit up. And that's that. The great thing about LEDs is they run a lot colder. Uh, there's no risk of, of it overheating in the ceiling or anything. So now it's just a matter of installing the light back in the ceiling. And that's that. Quite simple.